Hello ladies and gentlemen, Robochock here bringing you another vlog video. Uh, yesterday, uh, I went down to my son's house because I had to, one, I had to finish downloading Resident Evil 5 before I could start playing it. I tried to go someplace else, like I said, to download it, but the internet that they had, where I connected to, was a little bit too slow, only I had one bar. So, I went down to my... And two, I went down to my son's house to download Resident Evil 5, and it took a bit, but not as slow as it was going to be. Um, I finished downloading, and we both played Resident Evil 5. Now, what I this is what I found out. I found out that they did something to Resident Evil 5 that's on the Switch. That's different to the one to the ones that are on PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and Xbox. And this is what I found out. Um, remember on Xbox One that when the other player is in the co-op, when the other player comes in, uh, when the level is, when that one level is chapter is complete. And you're ready to like sell stuff and buy buy stuff. The second player can't. Only the first player can. Um, I've seen my son and his friend came over with the, played the game Resident Evil Five on Xbox, and for some apparent reason. It's different. On Xbox, the second player can't be able to sell treasure and buy stuff. On the Switch, the, per the your person can't. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if there's some kind of like options that you can fix that with. I don't know. But your, your uh, second player, when joins in the play, cannot sell or buy items. I don't understand that. I we have I didn't figure out uh, if it's on Resident Evil 6 because we both didn't play that yet. But we just found uh, I just found we just found that out on Resident Evil 5 that of course like I said about the second player. Why Capcom did that for the switch have no idea. I hope that in time it gets fixed. I don't know if other people care about that or don't care about that. But either way, that's what I found out and it should should be fixed. Um I got the do, done what I said that needed to be done yesterday. That's that's the one thing. Um. Oh yeah, here's another thing. Um. I found out I watched the YouTube video, and I don't know what it was called or anything like that, but it was between Metallica and Megadeth. Uh, especially with the singer uh, Dave Mustaine and Dave Mustaine said in the video that he heard people saying that Megadeth suck, sucks and you know Metallica is better. Um, you guys are voice your opinions. That's fine and dandy. But here's the thing now. If Megadeth sucks, okay, why do they have these many albums out? Why do they sell so many records? Why do they have like gold records for selling the most rec for selling the most albums? Why? So, in your case in point, 
Megadeth doesn't suck? I really don't think Dave Mustaine, Mustaine sucks, period. But, like I said, you guys tell your opinion. I both like Megadeth and Metallica. And most of the songs that both of these bands play, they talk about what have some of the songs that they play. Talk, think about, talk about what happens in real, real life, what's going on in real life. And you got to respect that for both bands because certain bands sometimes don't sing about what goes on in the real world. Eminem does. He sees the world through his own eyes. That's why he sings what goes on in the world. And basically, most of the song he songs that he has sang about are true. So I wouldn't trash talk or badmouth any bands. Even though it's your opinion saying that they suck. Like I said, opinions. But. They've sold so many albums and records and everything. So they can't totally suck on that point. Uh, can I... I'm just going to end this quick because my son's coming over today after school and I don't know when he's going to pop up um, here and I don't know when that's going to be with his girlfriend he's going to bring over too. So I really don't know. So I'm going to end this video right here. Um, on another note, tomorrow's Halloween. Um... I'm going to wish everybody a happy Halloween and a, a, a safe one at that because there's going to be people, of course we're going. there's people out there going to be dressing up in costumes, but we don't know. Which ones are good and sad, but we don't know what ones are the bad intentions to hurt the kids. So stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. And that's bottom line because I said so.